10 amazing African dog breeds you must meet. It should not be surprising that the vast and varied geography of Africa is home to a diversity of dog breeds, each as exceptional and distinctive as the region of the continent they call home. And with intriguing characteristics, we can't help but fall in love with these independent dogs. Number 1. Bourbul. The Bourbul is from South Africa, but it's not quite clear where it came from. They are believed to be a cross between an indigenous African dog and a Dutch imported mastiff. It's obvious that they are big, strong, and distinctly attractive. These dogs make fantastic family guard dogs when socialized and taught properly. They typically love kids, and they're happiest when given some area to play. So they might not be the ideal choice for urban apartment living. Number 2. ID. This, Atlas Mountain Dog, was first used by tribespeople in Morocco to protect their livestock. This breed, which is renowned for being somewhat territorial, needs early and intensive socialization as well as training. Otherwise, their wild instincts have a habit of taking over. They stand out from the crowd and are a handsome addition to the family because to their thick, velvety coat, appealing color, and markings. Number 3. Saluki. It truly is no surprise that the beauty of Salukis has been lauded for thousands of years. Given their sleek, beautiful physique and warm, oval-shaped eyes, this breed needs daily exercise, as well as enough of mental stimulation and instruction, as they have a reputation for acting destructively when unhappy or bored. Nothing will make you feel more like royalty than bringing this noble and flexible dog into your house because it is thought to be a favorite breed of kings. Number 4. Basenji. The fact that the Basenji is believed to be the sole ancient African dog breed is possibly the most stunning of the Basenji's many unique characteristics. These relatively little dogs, about 25 pounds, are renowned for their awesomely twisted tails, excellent intellect, and lack of barking. Just make sure to keep them busy because these dogs have a propensity for escaping and engaging in destructive activity when bored. Number 5. Chinese Crested. The Chinese Crested is believed to have originated in Africa, where they are thought to have descended from huge hairless dogs, while its exact origin is unknown. The size of these dogs was lowered via breeding once they were sent to China, giving us the peculiar, small appearance we see today. Whatever the true origins, there's no denying that these dogs are adorable. They are extremely intelligent, entertaining to teach, and sweet-tempered. However, they are also quite content to relax indoors with the family. Number 6. Afrikanis. The roots of this breed, which is used as a general term for a range of non-specific canines native to southern Africa, can be traced to the dogs that Neolithic shepherds from the Middle East brought into the continent. The Africans, who are renowned for being robust and healthy, perform best when given lots of chances to run around, play, and explore. This breed prioritizes family loyalty and has a strong sense for guarding, due to years of safeguarding human settlements and animals. Number 7. Slocky. This African sighthound breed is a beautiful canine that is made for running. Its native lands include Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya. They were known as the Arabian Greyhound, and used their speed to hunt fox, gazelle, and wild pigs in the past. Despite the fact that they are content to occasionally lounge around the house, they will still need their owners to provide them with plenty of daily exercise. They are affectionate with loved ones and are known to get highly attached. Despite being a little reserved around strangers. Number 8. Coton de Tullier. Although they resemble Maltese in appearance, this little breed is amazing in its own right. These canines, 
which take their name from their birthplace in Tullir, Madagascar, have fluffy cotton-like fur that needs a little additional care if you don't want some nightmare tangles on your hands. These dogs are perfect for families with children since they are sociable, entertaining, and low maintenance. Additionally, you'll have lots of time to spend together because of the lengthy life expectancy. Up to 16 years. Number 9. Rhodesian Ridgeback. They were raised to hunt big animals in Africa, including lions, which is why they were formerly known as African lion hounds. This dog is strong and playful. Despite their reputation for being strong-willed and rebellious, these dogs must be socialized and trained from an early age if you want them to be a loyal, clever, and reasonably obedient friend. Rhodesian Ridgebacks are excellent for a busy household and make the ideal hiking or running companions because they frequently have a lot of energy to expend. Number 10. Azawak. The Southern Sahara and the Sahel Zone were originally home to the Azawak. Another African sighthound. These dogs were well loved by the nomads who first kept them. And they took their jobs guarding the settlements and hunting wildlife, such as gazelle and wild boar, extremely seriously. This breed, which is robust but fine-limbed, responds best to positive, incentive-based training. Thanks for watching.